أكد سعادة الدكتور الشيخ عبد الله بن أحمد الخليفة وكيل وزارة الخارجية للشؤون السياسية أن الدبلوماسية البحرينية وضعت قيم السلام والتعايش في مقدمة أهدافها الرئيسية، الأمر الذي ساهم في ترسيخ المكانة الدولية المرموقة لمملكة البحرين. نعم جاء ذلك خلال الكلمة التي ألقاها وكيل وزارة الخارجية خلال جلسة بعنوان الشرق الأوسط وفلسطين وإسرائيل ضمن فعاليات مؤتمر ميونخ للأمن في دورته التاسعة والخمسين بجمهورية ألمانيا الاتحادية حيث أشار سعادته إلى أن مملكة البحرين في ظل القيادة الحكيمة لجلالة ملك البلاد المعظم أيده الله ورعاه وبدعم ومتابعة من سمو ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله تؤمن بأن الحوار والانفتاح وبناء التفاهمات هو السبيل الصحيح لنبذ الخلافات وإنهاء النزاعات وأن السلام يمثل مكسبا دائما لجميع الأطراف داعيا إلى ضرورة ضمان حقوق الشعب الفلسطيني الشقيق في إقامة دولته المستقلة وفق مبدأ حل الدولتين uh, Your Excellency, do you see a change process since the signing of the Abraham Accords? in terms of the Palestinian leadership's reaction, which at the beginning was a massive uh, rejectionism, which I believe also led to tensions with, for example, among the Emirati leadership, who was very much attacked. Do you see a potential for spillover to, um, of, of the prosperity bringing dynamic that we're seeing right now that can involve the leadership and that will lead to a, uh, the Palestinian leadership and that will lead to their willingness to come on board and see how they can benefit from this very promising dynamic that we see right now. Thank you. Sheikh Khalifa, I know Cyrus you. We in the Kingdom of Bahrain very much do care about the Palestinians. We care about their well-being, we care about their security, and we care about the future. And Bahrain will do everything in its capacity to support the Palestinians to achieve their own independent state with East of Jerusalem as its capital. The relation between Bahrain and Palestine has always been very strong and very healthy between His Majesty the King and President Abbas, between the peoples of Bahrain and Palestine. And I believe having relations with Israel will, in fact, contribute to the chances of achieving peace in the region. We have seen how our brothers in Jordan and Egypt are contributing heavily into uh, shuttle diplomacy, into easing the tensions whenever there is any escalations uh, between Palestine and, and uh, Israel. And I certainly do believe that even with the Abraham Accords, we should keep the momentum ongoing. We should portray how the benefits and the fruition of peace is reflect on the daily lives of people. And we are very much optimistic of the future. There are many challenges ahead of us, but the cornerstone for the regional security and stability of the region remains to be achieving the two-state solution.